There is one animal that statistics show is by far the most dangerous animal in Africa, the hippopotamus. However, what many people don't know is that they can also become attached to humans and very sweet. When this ranger and his wife rescued a hippo, you won't believe your eyes when you see how she thanked them. In South Africa, there are many rivers and waterways that connect to each other. This means that some wild animals can even cross country borders and move between bordering countries. In case of drought or heavy floods, they have somewhere to go that is slightly safer. The Kruger National Park is famous for providing a massive piece of land where animals can still roam free and live naturally, but with little protection from rangers. However, many people don't know that there are huge farms all around the Kruger Park that also still have animals roaming free and allowing them to live their best life. Some of these farms have even taken down the fences between their own land and that of the Kruger Park, giving animals even more space to roam. It's on one of those farms close to the Kruger Park that our story today plays out. Tony and Shirley Jobert live on a farm close to Hoodspruit and the Blyde River runs through their property. This is one of the smaller rivers that joins the Oliphants River, or Elephants River, that goes all the way to Mozambique. In 2000, there were devastating floods in both South Africa and Mozambique that affected many people in both countries and also displaced many animals since their natural habitats were now underwater. Tony and Shirley went outside to see how much the river had risen and if they were still safe on the banks of the river. They heard a strange noise and when they looked very carefully, they saw that there was a hippo calf on the banks of the river. There was no mother in sight anywhere and they realized she must have been separated from her family by the strong currents in the river. They got closer and the little hippo tried to stand but she couldn't. She was too weak and tired and had no energy left. It must have taken everything she had to survive the water. Hippos are really good swimmers, but this one was tiny. In fact, when Tony picked up the little calf, who they would later call Jessica, they saw that she still had an umbilical cord attached. She must have been only a few hours old and she had already lost her mother. But it wasn't like the Jobert family had a hippo handy to adopt the baby and feed her, but she did desperately need food or she wouldn't make it. Luckily for this tiny hippo, she had landed with people who knew just how to help. Tony had worked as a ranger for a long time and also cared for the animals on his own farm. And he had cared for plenty of orphaned animals. He knew how to create milk that could replace the mother's milk that tiny Jessica still should have been having. Normal milk wouldn't have cut it, and that was why he created a special formula to feed the baby. They used full cream cow's milk, but then they added extra cream and also egg yolks to create a formula that could prove to be very nutritious to a growing hippo. It still wouldn't be easy, because a growing hippo needed a lot of food and care. She was too small to go into the river by herself, and that was why the family decided that they would be adopting a hippo into the family. Despite all of the hardships Jessica faced, she never got sick and quickly grew and got stronger. She loved the family and would wake Tony or Shirley if she was hungry. She also started to play with the family dogs, and she just acted as if she lived with the family forever. Eventually, Jessica had to be weaned off of her formula, and the family tried to give her tea instead, but she didn't like any of them, until they offered her rooibos, a truly South African drink. Now she drinks gallons of the stuff each day, but she's really picky about how she takes her rooibos tea. She wants it slightly warm with a bit of brown sugar. When Jessica started to get too large to live in the house, she started living in the river, but she still knew how to open the gate to come back home when she missed the family or wanted to play with the dogs. She even made some friends with other wild hippos, but Jessica is still kind and gentle when it comes to humans. The Joe Burt family feeds her daily since they aren't sure if Jessica would be able to fend for herself completely. Besides, she has some tastes that can't be found in the wild. She likes grazing on the grass, but they have to give her 5 kilograms or 11 pounds of apples and carrots every day, and she also enjoys a bread or two for lunch or dinner. 
and she often visits the family just to cuddle while they watch television or listen to music. With an animal that is about nine times heavier than a car, it's very good that she is that gentle. Her family are her favorite humans, but she enjoys getting other visitors too, and she especially loves it when they bring some snacks along. Many tourists visit the farm just to interact with Jessica and hang out with her for a while. They get to feed her and see just how sweet she can be. The family built a little ramp where Jessica can get her front feet out of the water and take food and drinks from families that come to visit. But besides all the love and adoration from her loyal fans, Jessica has become pretty famous too. Many television shows and movies have featured her story and showcased the incredible bond that exists between Tony, Shirley, and Jessica. They raised her after all, and they are the only parents that Jessica has ever known. All the interest has made Jessica a bit of a rock star. She has been featured in 106 documentaries, has been in movies, and Jessica has even been on The Oprah Winfrey Show. It doesn't get much cooler than that. But since she's a hippo, her fame hasn't gone to her head, and she remains very family-oriented and friendly. As Jessica was saved by Tony and Shirley in 2000, she is almost 23 years old now. That can seem like a long time, but hippos can live up to 50 years in captivity. And with all that healthy rooibos tea she drinks, we're sure she might live even longer. She has only ever been sick once. The family was very worried and they needed to use their love to help save Jessica once again. Oral antibiotics weren't working and the vet needed to dart her. Hippos have really thick skin, so giving antibiotics through intramuscular injections is not easy. She wouldn't eat for a few days, and Tony and Shirley moved her back into the house where they could care for her. After days of worry, Jessica was finally getting better, and the couple hopes they never have to go through such an ordeal again. However, it was all worth it to see Jessica back with her wild friends living in the river once again. She always has the freedom to come and go as she pleases, but it does often still please Jessica to visit the family. She has never forgotten all they've done for her, and it seems like she remembers all she's been through every so often and then she wants to come back home just to thank her adoptive parents for all they've done and are still doing. She opens the gate and comes into the house, then she goes over to her family. You won't believe how she thanks them. With that big body, she waddles over and hugs her adoptive parents. She goes home just to give them hugs. Of course, if they did have a snack handy, she would never say no. After her visit, Jessica would leave them and return to the river, living a life of freedom once again. Thank you for watching. Join us again for even more incredible stories.